The chimpanzee is not just a smart animal you see in documentaries or zoos. It is a creature that thinks about the future. In scientific experiments, chimpanzees have rejected an easy reward right in front of them and chosen to wait for a better one. This ability, known as self-control, was once believed to exist only in humans. The chimpanzee doesn't calculate the moment. It calculates what comes next. When a chimpanzee senses unfairness, its behavior changes immediately. It may refuse to cooperate, almost as if it is punishing the other for being unjust, not out of anger, but out of understanding. Inside their groups, chimpanzees do not rule by strength alone. The most successful males are those who build alliances, gain loyalty, and use social strategy rather than brute force. Even more surprising, chimpanzees plan their hunts in advance, hiding tools and keeping them for hours, sometimes days, until the right moment arrives. They can learn without direct experience, simply by watching others make mistakes and avoiding those same errors themselves, a sign of advanced learning. At times, chimpanzees deliberately hide food and change their behavior when they realize they are being watched, revealing an understanding of the intentions of others rather than simple instinct. Chimpanzees can recognize themselves in mirrors, understanding that the reflection is their own, a rare sign of self-awareness in the animal world. Within the group, mistakes are not always punished with violence. Sometimes the punishment is social isolation a response that can be psychologically more damaging than physical pain. Despite their strength, chimpanzees show empathy, helping individuals who are not relatives and sharing food without immediate benefit. Most astonishing of all, every chimpanzee group has its own culture, unique ways of hunting, eating, and communicating, as if each community has traditions of its own. Genetically, chimpanzees share nearly 98% of their DNA with humans. But the real question is not how similar we are to them. It's how much of what we call human began there.